Chairman Augustine and honored committee members, thank you for allowing me uh, this uh, opportunity to provide you with my thoughts on the future of our nation's human spaceflight policy. Allow me to welcome you to North Alabama, where we are proud of our strong space exploration legacy that includes the Apollo, Skylab, Space Shuttle, and the International Space Station programs. We're also proud of the progress that has been made on the Ares-1 launch vehicle and excited about the challenge of developing the heavy lift Ares-5. As you all know, with the impending space shuttle retirement, there will be a five-year gap in human spaceflight capability, threatening our nation's dominance in space, technology, and innovation. As the retirement of the space shuttle nears, it is imperative that we as a nation develop the next generation spaceflight program to return to the moon and beyond. Constellation, the current launch architecture for our return to the moon, is the appropriate architecture. This architecture has received the bipartisan approval of Congress in both the appropriations and the authorization process. It's capable of achieving our human spaceflight goals in a safe, innovative, affordable, and sustainable way. As you will surely recall, our nation suffered a great tragedy on February 1, 2003, when we lost the crew of the Space Shuttle Columbia. The Columbia Accident Investigation Board's final report recognized that the tragedy was due in part to failings of a haphazard policy process. The board noted a pattern of optimistic pronouncements about a revolutionary shuttle replacement followed by insufficient government investment and then program cancellations due to technical difficulties. If our nation's space agency and its space programs are to have future credibility in Congress, we must break this cycle. The current architecture was selected utilizing technical analyses that involved more than 20 technical experts at NASA headquarters and hundreds of employees from across the agency. NASA and its contractors have demonstrated good progress on the Constellation architecture. They have faced their share of technical challenges, but we shouldn't be surprised that the human exploration of our solar system is technically challenging. We overcame these kinds of technical challenges during Apollo, and we will overcome them again. We should keep this current space transportation architecture on track and not throw away the substantial investment of tax dollars that this has already been made. The Constellation program is essential to our national security and to maintaining space dominance on the international stage. Our return to the moon and the benefits that our nation will see as a result of continued human space exploration depends on a serious and sustained investment in the Constellation architecture. North Alabama engineered our first trip to the moon and with our current program, we will do it again. I look forward to working with NASA's newest administrator, Charles Bolden, in taking the next step in man manned spaceflight and exploration. Thank you for your time and consideration as we all work toward, together toward our ultimate goal of continued American supremacy in space.